Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to take up this game's with their time and bandwidth. Today's game is Floop's Big House Adventure. Mixing the 90s MTV aesthetic with a basic shooter roguelike, is Floop's worth tuning in? Let's find out. Floop's Big House Adventure is a roguelite wave shooter, with its primary emphasis being easy to pick up and play, and its unique 90s cartoon style aesthetic. The plot here is light. Floop is some kind of man wearing a plankton from Spongebob suit or something, and one day a bunch of weird monsters show up at his door, so he's gonna kill them by shooting them with hot dogs and hairballs. Hey, as an 90s kid, this plot makes 100% sense. The gameplay itself is very simple. You're locked in a single screen and enemies spawn on either side, and you have to move around and shoot them. This isn't a dual stick shooter though. Floop can only shoot directly left or right, which while this is annoying at first, the game is clearly designed around that particular strategy and handicap. During each round, killing enemies will often drop weapons, each of which have abilities that augment play, such as piercing, explosions, or just faster fire rate and damage. You can only have one weapon at a time, so you need to find the one that plays best with your build. And speaking of build, builds every few waves a smoking kappa gremlin thing will spawn and should you kill him you'll get your choice of three power-ups when the wave ends these range from boring ones like just straight up stats such as damage fire rate speed etc to the more fun ones like a spread shot backfire piercing on all weapons and more at the end of each stage is a boss who usually just sits on the right hand side of the screen and tosses stuff at you until you kill it though the final boss does mix things up in a smash brothers x master hand style fight against the devil himself the game has four stages in total and then you unlock hardcore mode for a true challenge. And really, that's the general gist of Floop's Big House Adventure. It's a very basic wave-based roguelike with some interesting power-ups and absolutely bizarre art. But what I like about Floop's Big House Adventure? Well, it does the roguelike thing I love, where if you happen to get the right combination of power-ups, you can get some hilariously broken builds. My spread shot explosive pierce gun with a high fire rate basically took me through the whole game. Additionally, the visuals here are obviously a highlight. And while for those unfamiliar, it may look cheap or like MS Paint, I felt it did a great job emulating those TV shows in the 90s my parents really didn't want me to watch. And lastly, the game is surprisingly addicting. The fact you can only shoot two directions makes it very easy to pick up and play, and I actually ended up playing a lot more on my phone, where the game is free, than on PC, as it made for some nice quick runs while I had to wait for something IRL. When it comes to the bad, this game has a ton of rough edges. I had difficulty telling which objects in the world were obstacles and which weren't. Bosses start their attacks instantly after cutscenes, leading to cheap hits, and the enemy balance overall feels way off, with them getting a massive health spike in stage 3. Additionally, not telling you what items do what until you choose them is very frustrating. And while lots of roguelites do this, they usually have a glossary or something in the menus after you get them, or provide more guidance based on what the object looks like before you make your choice. I have absolutely messed up runs by not knowing whether I need a crowbar or a pair of dice or an empty donut box, because I just have no idea what these things do, and they end up being anti-synergistic. And lastly, there isn't a ton of content here, which while the asking price of 5 bucks isn't awful, but there are are only four levels total with a boss and then doing it again on hardcore mode. I was able to beat the game on my fifth run, so take that as you will. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale. Must play, maybe consider, and don't bother. And Floop's Big House Adventure isn't exactly a mind-blowing roguelike, but it's one that I was surprised that I had quite a bit of fun with. While it definitely has a lot of rough edges, some weird balance, and not a ton of content, it does well in having an extremely weird aesthetic and very simple but still very addicting gameplay. This isn't Binding of Isaac or Cavity Busters to your roguelite addiction or anything, but if you want to kill an hour or two on mobile or PC, it's definitely worth checking out with its low asking price. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Have you heard or even played Floop's Big House Adventure? As mentioned, it's free on mobile, so if you want to check it out before getting it on PC, which is like the definitive edition, you can definitely do that. But let me know what you think in the comments, and then go out there and maybe give Floop's Big House a look.